how to check your steering head bearings on your M8 Softail. Let's get into it. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator L. So this is a quick tech video on the M8 Softails from Harley Davidson. And we're talking about the steering head bearings and, and how to check them. So first of all, for all the M8 Softails, if you've got any accessories on your handlebars, if you've got a fairing or anything like that, take it off. Actually, what I would do is take two readings, do this whole procedure, which I'm about to show you, with everything on there, with all your accessories and with your fairing on, then take it all off for the official check so that you have a comparison between the two. And that will give you a good baseline figure of where, where to go in the future. Okay, right. First of all, you need to get yourself a motorcycle lift and lift the front wheel uh, off the ground, only ever so slightly, so it uh, moves freely. Second of all, obviously make sure that the bike is firmly strapped down. Next, come to the front of the motorcycle, sit yourself on a stool and just rotate the uh, steering. And basically what you're looking for, what you want to feel is any grinding, any bumping or anything like that. If it feels abnormally rough, when you go from side to side like that then you've got a problem with your bearings uh, you need to either have it all stripped down or you basically need to retension it retighten it but the most likely cause here is that you've lost all your grease and you've got damage to your bearings as well okay so the next thing you want to do is pull and push on the front tire to see if there's any play in the steering head there if there's a clunk as uh, harley davidson liked to say uh, basically if there's any knocking if there's any play whatsoever again you've got problems with your steering head bearings they're going to need to be checked and replaced i, I would say as well so this is the first thing to do jack the front uh, tire up and then do a left to right full motion all the way from lock to lock two or three times something like that and just check that steering head bearing you should do this on a regular basis anyway but i would say every five thousand miles at a minimum okay after three three or so turns leave it in the left hand side position because then we're going to check what is the fall away but on the m8 soft tails there is no fall away test and basically what that was on different motorcycles you could center up the front tire and basically you could get a measuring device here a piece of card with a pointer and you could just push the front tire left or right and see when it starts to fall away by itself and the point at which it starts to fall away that's when you mark and you'll compare that with the service manual and that will tell you whether it's in limits or out of limits and if you have to make an adjustment however on the m8 soft tails there isn't that test although it's a similar kind of thing so what you need to do is measure the pull force on each fork leg and that will tell you whether the the bearings are operating correctly or with intolerance or if the the uh, the headstock has been uh, clamped down too tightly right how do we do that okay so you probably have a screwdriver at home and uh, some of the soft tails have a hollow uh, a front axle if they haven't then just try and get some purchase inside uh, the axle there right in the center I've got mine it's hollow I'm gonna pop that all the way through okay so the next thing you want to do is get yourself one of these luggage scales I've got a digital one here and it will read it in pounds kilos uh, so leave it on the pound setting because that's what you have to compare to the service manual okay what you do then just hook it onto the screwdriver there and you're gonna go from the full lock position and you're gonna pull in one continuous motion at 90 degrees to the fork leg and parallel to the uh, the tire as well so that you're not exerting any up down outward force as it were it's purely a, just a rotational force on that front tire so what you're gonna do is look for the the maximum reading of it okay so mine just went over 5.5 Right, so what I need to do now is do the other side. And basically, you might as well take two or three readings. I've already done that. I know mine settled at 5.5, 5.6 pounds, that is. Okay, let me do the other side. Okay, so that was 4.8. So I'm 5.5 to the right as I look at it and 4.8 to the left as I look at it. Right, let me compare that. 
Okay, so for the 2018 and 2019 soft tails right now, that's all I'm gonna talk about, and I'm gonna give you the 2020 figures in a moment. Okay, so I'm gonna give you the model designations here. So for the FLDE, the FLHC, the FLHCS, the FLSB, uh, the FLSL, the FXBB, and the FXLR, you've got a minimum of two and a maximum of 16. So at a minimum of two, and a maximum of 16, so it's well within that tolerance, okay? Okay, for the FLFB and the FLFBS, the FXBR and the FXBRS, it's between eight and 21. For the FXFB and the FXFBS, it's between one and 13. And the FXDRS, that's between 13 and 17. Okay, let's talk about the 2020 bikes and up. Okay, for the FXLR, the FXFB, and the FXFBS, it is between three and seven. Okay, for the FLSL and the FXBB, it's between four and eight. For the FLDE, it's between five and nine. The FXLRS is between six and nine. The FLSB, FLFB, FLFBS, FLHC, and the FLHCS, it's between seven and 11. And finally, the FXBRS is between 10 and 14. Okay, so if you're within tolerance of those numbers, uh, whatever model you have, and you do a comparison, let's say, between fully fared and not fully fared, then it'll give you a good idea of how your bike is uh, working under different load conditions or how your steering head bearings and your steering head is working under different load conditions as well. If your readings are out of tolerance, then you're gonna have to make an adjustment. I'm gonna quickly show you how you do that. Okay, so you're gonna have to make two adjustments here and I'll show you exactly what they are. Okay, so you're gonna have to come to the, the bike here and you're gonna have to loosen off the fork stem pinch bolt right here. And you're also gonna have to loosen off either side, the top fork bracket, the top yoke, the top uh, clamp, the top triple tree, whichever you wanna call it, uh, that pinch bolt there as well. So that you're able to make the adjustment right here on the fork stem bolt right there which is basically right there. So you're gonna to have to loosen the fork stem pinch bolt there and the top clamp pinch bolts there. Okay, so if your readings are above the maximum allowed for your model M8 Softail, you're gonna to come to this top uh, fork stem bolt and loosen it off just a little bit. Then what you're going to do is just pinch everything tight again, not do them fully up, but just tighten up the uh, fork stem pinch bolt and either side of the uh, top clamp pinch bolts as well, the top fork uh, bracket pinch bolts. Tighten those up just a little bit, then do the test again and see if it's within tolerance. If it's not, then you're gonna have to loosen it off a little bit more. Conversely, if your readings are below the minimum, in other words, it's too easy to make that steering, basically it's too loose, it's too loose. So you're gonna to have to do the reverse. Basically, you're gonna to have to come to the fork stem bolt here and tighten it up a little bit, then tighten everything back up, do the reading again. Once it's within tolerance, then basically you come back here and you tighten everything up. Okay, for the FXDRS, the fork stem uh, pinch bolt right here is 28 to 32 foot-pounds of torque or 38 to 43.4 newton meters. All other soft tail models is 16 to 20 foot-pounds of torque or 21.7 to 27.1 newton meters. Now for the fork and bracket pinch bolt, it's 16 to 20 foot-pounds of torque or 21.7 to 27.1 newton meters. Basically, they're all the same. So if you're riding down the road and your steering feels a little bit vague uh, then you need to check wheel alignment you need to check your steering head bearings that kind of thing as well so for this test this is the steering head bearings in the next video I'm going to talk about front wheel alignment and how you can make changes there okay don't forget to subscribe hit that bell like and share and check out the website revelatealf.com cheers